right, it's the next day now. <clears throat> As we've got a nice bit of uh, winter sun, I thought I'd put it outside the garage. Just got a few basic fiberglass bits and pieces to put there to use today to try and start doing the repair on the on the loads comb. So I'm going to start off just with a Dremel. This one of these little um, flappy wheel um, attachments. I've done a little bit here just to sort of get the basically any dirt off and start roughing up the surface a little bit where needed. It's not particularly thick with fiberglass, so I don't want to go too mad and go up way through it. They give me the opportunity to get a good key on places uh, that need doing. Also, then going to use something like that in the general again just to try and cut out the actual uh, the, the, the crack on these ones that's at the wrong side just so I can get back in line. Probably put a bit of tape over the, this edge of it. Obviously, do the fiberglass from the inside edge initially. Um, might need to put a maybe a little bit of sticker look across and all that just to make sure it stays in the right sort of line as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do a little clean up and let's see if I can uh, get the first bits of fiberglass in, measure that ready to go. <laughs> Right, you see there I did some initial cleaning. I've done bottom area here, what I can get to in here, again what I can get to in there. Been using plenty of these two. Same sort of thing you might use to do a bit of polishing on a uh, cylinder head if you want to get rid of some material or just clean up any other areas in general. And I've just uh, going to change over to this thing I mentioned earlier on, just screwed it into the end of this holder and then you're going to see if I can just cut the actual um, quick line out to try and get the panels to line up properly. <laughs> It looks a little bit brutal, <clears throat> but I did originally warn the owner that it looks it's going to get worse before it gets better. As you can see, I've done the cuts here to turn the bottom. I did a bit of left this bit here because um, I can actually see where the crack line is or where the actual joints are because it has dropped down a little bit, obviously, with the stress on it. So I need to put a little bit of tension on it just to bring it back up in line when I'm actually going to be doing the fiberglassing. Same with that one here. You see this top edge has just come up a little bit, so I'm going to have to put a little bit of tension on it. Maybe just put a clamp on here when it's in line, bring the, these two surfaces together. It's only about a millimetre out, but it might make a difference when it comes to putting this, this grill back in, in these fixings if it's slightly out. And I'll just put a little bit of clamp on there, hopefully hold it like that, and then apply this bit of glass fibre on the inside, and obviously do the same. Take it off, it should hold itself, and then do the other way around. Whereas so this one here, come out pretty well. Just gonna put it like a bit of tape, maybe a lolly stick on the outside of it just to hold it in line with each other. And I should be able to uh, do some matting. I'll probably end up doing this one first I imagine just making the start of the other two. Um obviously I've got to try and take this one out from the front. There's no real marks on this one from the back. But I just have to uh, put in that put in a bit of reinforcement out the back of it and obviously grind it out the front. And then the bit of the start raising I'll have to tackle later on. So let's uh, make a start on mixing up some, some uh, resin, cutting the bits and pieces, see if I can get this first bit started off there. Right, well, I've prepared the outside of the first piece here, just to put some tape over it. I've also then taped across the actual uh, crack with a one of those small six inch rulers, just to try and make sure it stays nice and level. It seems to be holding its line pretty good. This one will take a bit more work to try and hold it in line. I had to try and put a simple clamp between these two edges, but it wasn't going to hold very well, so I might have to put a bit of a wedge uh, top to bottom to try and hold one side down. And I've put some tape over here uh, to stop the resin from here running down and ruining what I was uh, going to be preparing there. So just going to try and get this area done first of all. So typically you buy these fiberglass kits from most manufacturers. There's a few different world well makes, but you can also buy the uh, bare components. I tend to get through more of the resin than anything else. You can just buy the resin or the whole kits. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, the resin into the cup. 
get a bit mixed up with a little lolly stick which is also provided in one of these kits and then using either whatever's in the kit like a throwaway uh, brush or just these other ones you can get quite cheaply just going to put the resin on then uh, place probably that piece in there stiff it a little bit get some more of the make sure it's well soaked in resin put the thin pieces either side and then finish off by putting the, uh, the this other piece back on top again. So that will be going on there, on either side in that as well. So I'll uh, take it off the ride, show how it goes, and hopefully we can at least get this first bit stabilised. This stuff does go off quite quickly depending on the temperature. So you want to make sure you only really mix up enough that you've got to, to use up. And then obviously add the bit of the resin as well. I have to give it a, a squeeze with two hands. Just mix it all up like you would do with normal, uh, with normal body filler. And then straight away just start putting it onto the panel. Once it's all mixed up, just uh, take a bit on your brush. Literally just start putting it onto the area concerned. Just taking the first piece of the matting and just literally lay it on the area. And get a little bit more on the brush. Give it a load of dabbing. You obviously it will start to break away a little bit because it's only a very fine weave. It does get quite messy as you can see. The idea is to try and get the uh, the resin that you've got on the underneath to start soaking through the matting. Obviously, the more you put on, the more chance you've got to be going for the crack that you've got on the panel. I'm going to put a bit more on. said earlier on depending on what the temperature is of the in the surrounding area it depends how long it's going to take to go off so sometimes you put even more or less of the hardener into the resin because obviously you want a bit of working time to make sure you've got enough time to do what you want to do right I'll put another, put another piece on I'll do this one handed or not. I'll try and get that piece to go on on there. Obviously you can cut off any excess you need to later on. It's just a question of trying and get it on without making too much of a mess. Gonna dip, dip some more on there to get it to stick properly. Obviously it's got a memory this fiberglass so when it's been wrapped up it's got a bit of a kink on it so the more you put on the less more chance you've got overcoming the memory the more uh, resin that is can move around a little bit and now we're just about to start raining so my uh, nice bit of sunshine is now gone and the British weather's come back with a vengeance so it's just starting to spit a little bit so I'm going to try and get these bits done if I can then obviously get it under cover so it can dry out maybe put the heater on in the garage so, uh, so it doesn't take all day to go off let's move it down a little bit excuse my hands
Well, we thought that uh, for this bit of fiberglass in, or the the, uh, the nose can as it is, that the effect of these sort of three stroke four coats will be enough. Obviously, a mixture of the the resin and the glass fiber matting. Obviously, once it goes off, it's pretty it's pretty tough stuff. Right, let's try and get this the last one on before I get soaked completely. Just shows how quickly the weather can change. Once it's dry you can put some more on top if you, if you want to or you might find you put too much on it you have to be careful about any restrictions behind the panel you're working on in case you have to be careful about it being too thick obviously it takes uh, probably about half an hour to dry in a decent temperature so you can work it but obviously to be fully dry it's going to take quite a few more hours before you want to do anything like paint it or coat it with anything so that seems to be taken okay obviously this bit on the front edge here it's got nothing behind it, just the tape. So obviously uh, that's probably going to take its own shape eventually, but you can see along here where the actual panel fit is. But that seems to be briefly neat, keeping okay. Pretty happy with that at the moment. Far too much resin mixed up the first time, but we haven't done this for a while. So I'll have to uh, just counter tip it to make sure it's well soaked get rid of the uh, the excess just looking whether I could get anything actually in the back edge of that for now I might better quickly cut that edge up that little piece off here and start putting some of the back on there so save on the resin try and get some of the some of the fiberglass on if the rain the rain doesn't get too bad for me <laughs> 